Welcome. Um, so what we have to do is evaluate the first uh, five terms for this uh, sequence. And you can see here we have a factorial. So it's important for us to understand what a factorial represents again. Remember, it's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times dot times dot 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 um, n minus 1 times n, right? So it's going all the previous terms all the way up to your value. But what's nice about this is I want to evaluate a sub 1. So wherever n is, that's where n's in the um, sequence. So if I plug in 1, now I'm simply going to do is just plug in a 1 there. So I have 1 plus 2 factorial divided by 1 factorial. So that becomes 3 factorial over 1 factorial. Well, 1 factorial is just going to be 1. And this becomes 3 times 2 times 1 over 1, where 3 times 2 is going to be 6 over 1, which is equal to 6. Now let's do a sub 2. So now I'm going to plug in a 2. Okay, So therefore, this becomes 4 factorial over 2 factorial. Now I'm going to kind of show you this one step, and then we'll start simplifying the next one. What's nice about this is if I was going to write out the factorial 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over 2 factorial is 2 times 1. And I know I'm going in the descending order where I gave you the formula in the ascending order. Um, sorry about that. Um, you can write them either way. You can, go, you can go descending down to 1, or you can go ascending up to your number. But what's nice about this is automatically seen here, the 2 factorials divide out. And I'm just left with 4 times 3, which is 12. So let's go and see if we can maybe simplify this a little bit further next problem without having to do so much work. So plug in 3, 3 plus 2 factorial over 3 factorial. Well, that becomes 5 factorial over 3 factorial. Hopefully, you guys can see from now, I know that the 3 factorials are going to divide out. Again, just let, leave me with 5 times 4, which is 20. So I hope I didn't do that too early for you. Um, let's go into 4, and let's try to speed this up a little bit. Uh, 4, so if I plug in a 4, that's going to give me 6 factorial over 4 factorial. Again, it, let me write this out one more time. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So what I did here is I noticed, hey, the 4 factorials, those all divide to 1. So it's just my next two terms, which is 6 times 5, which is 30. And I'll do a sub 5 kind of simple here. 5, that's going to be 7 factorial over 5 factorial. Again, the 5 factorials are going to divide out, so I'm just left with 7 times 6, which is 42. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate your first five terms of a sequence. Thanks.